Let's take a close look at, uh, at this graph <clears throat> of this function. So, as we can see here, um, we have a minimum right here, and it's actually occurring at negative 2. And what we're going to do here is, is we're going to take negative 2, here this minimum, and we're going to plug that into the second derivative. And, of course, we got to consider that when we're doing this that we may not have uh, the opportunity to have a graphing utility in front of us, so we got to trust the math. But if we take negative 2 and we pluck it into the second derivative, what we're going to get out is, is a positive number. That's what we're concerned about, whether it's positive or negative. And if it's positive, then that means that it's going to be concave up. Okay, concave up. So let's go to the whiteboard. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is... is just go ahead and write out our original, um, write out the original function, which I forget every time on that. Um, okay. Computer was slow there for a minute. So we started with, this is what we just got through graphing, um, x times the square root of x plus 3. And then we found the first derivative. And remember the first derivative is going to help us finding where the functions increasing and decreasing in our critical numbers for our max and our mins. That is if they exist. And, of course, the first derivative was 3x plus 6. And that's over 2 times the square root of x plus 3. Now, if we looked at the... Uh, we drew a number line, and we plugged in our critical number, which is negative 2 here. And if we plugged in a number to the left of this, this should be uh, negative. And I'd plug in a number to the right, like for example, zero into this, into the, we would end up getting a plus, a positive number. So it was decreasing and increasing. And of course, when we took the second derivative, we couldn't find any critical numbers. Well, we found something, but it has to be in the domain of the original function um, to determine the concavity of the graph. And it wasn't. It was outside. It was like negative 4 or something. But anyway, we have uh, 3x plus 12. And so the second derivative test fails. And we got to go back to the first derivative to determine the concavity of the graph. And that is x plus 3 raised to the 3 halves. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this negative 2 here, okay, and we want to plug that into the second derivative to determine if it's uh, negative or positive. And I'll just draw a number line here. So we do that. We plug negative 2 in. F double prime of negative 2. And we plug negative 2 in the denominator. We end up getting 1 because negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Okay. And plug negative 2 in the numerator. And you get uh, negative 6 plus 12. So that ends up being a positive number. So we know here at negative 2 that it's going to end up being concave up. Okay, it's decreasing, increasing, so we know that this graph is concave up at negative 2. So the concavity of the graph is going to end up being concave up from negative 3 to positive infinity. Okay, because the domain, we have to look at the domain of the original function here, obviously. Um, anything less than negative 3, okay, is not in the domain. So, all right.